Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, I will share with you how you can make your own planner using Canva and PowerPoint. So this video will be divided into parts. First, I will show you how to make individual pages for your planner on Canva. Next is on how to add hyperlinks to navigate your planner easily. And lastly is on how you can open it and use it on GoodNotes. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first step is to go to Canva and click the Create a Design button. You can choose the planner template with this dimensions, but I will use letter size paper in this tutorial, which will be 8.27 by 11.69 inches. You will then have this blank canvas and first, is we have to make our planner cover. You can create your own design or use canvas templates. They have a variety of design that you can choose from and here I just selected this minimalist design and edited it. Make sure to have some space on the right side since we will add the indexes on this part. And to make it more realistic, you can add a notebook spring element or shadows on the other side. And this will serve as the part of like a real planner where pages are bound together. You can use simple shapes or search for an element for the indexes of the planner. A trick here is to add a rectangle shape first, then stretch it out from top to bottom to know the length of the planner. But of course, you can al you already know the size of this planner. You can divide the measurements by the number of indexes or partitions you want to include. The answer to this will be the length of the individual index, so it will fit perfectly on the planner. You can even choose a rounded shape or an arc shape for the indexes. So here I compiled the indexes titles and first is the calendar button, months of the year, and a navigation part like the menu button. But if you want to be extra, you can search for a frosted shape element on the elements tab and choose a rectangular frosted shape. And the good thing here is it already comes with a shadow making it more realistic. Just adjust the length of this shape. You can overlap with them if you want or have a gap on each index. It depends on your style or theme that you want to achieve. After adding the indexes, you can also add another set of shadows which will be placed here. And next is to add a text box. Here type the text or the title for each index. Basically it will be the months of the year. Apply the styles that you want, the text, the color, and the font. And after that you can add other elements to the indexes. Here I added a calendar element instead of writing down the calendar text, same with the menu sign at the bottom. By the way, I added another blank index since if you plan to use this template, you can add your page and link it to this last index. Personalize it and make sure to still have the theme on your mind. So this is the finished planner cover that we made. Moving on to the next page, just duplicate the cover page we edited a while ago so you don't need to edit the indexes again. And delete the cover elements here. Next is add a shape, maximize it same with the size of the planner cover and apply a color. This will serve as the pages of the planner and I suggest using light colors. But again, it still depends on your theme. Next, 
go to the templates tab and search for a calendar of the year you will make a planner of. If you are making a planner for 2024, then you can search for a 2024 calendar on Canva. Add a blank page first, then click on your chosen template. You can first personalize it by editing the fonts or some design of the template. And a tip or a hack that you can use is if you're planning to apply a specific style of font on another set of texts, instead of manually adjust the fonts, color, size, etc., you can select the text with the style that you like, click on the paint roller icon, and click on the other text that you want to have the same style with the other text. And once you're satisfied with how it looks, Select the template or the calendar, copy it, and paste it on your duplicated page with the indexes. Adjust its size, and there you go, you have your calendar page for your planner. So next is we will make a monthly planner. Just repeat the process, add a blank page first, and duplicate the previous page to have the indexes. Look for a template you want for your monthly planner and apply it to the blank page. Make some adjustments, then after that select the template and paste it on the actual page with the indexes. You can also combine different templates. Here I used a different template for the planner and a separate template for the text style. Repeat this process for all of the months, and after you're done with the monthly planner, you can proceed with your weekly planner. But this still depends on you if you want to make it specific, like adding a weekly planner and then a daily planner. Just repeat the process again, look for a template, edit it, and paste it on the page with the indexes. I'm not going to go into detail since it is pretty self-explanatory and and by the way, if you noticed, I didn't say the exact fonts, colors, and style I used because I want you to make your own and apply your creativity. So after you're done with a weekly planner, you can now add different pages that you can include on the menu or the navigation part. And here I just added a habit tracker, a finance and password tracker, a brain dump page and some blank notes after that make a page where you will compile the pages we just made a while ago especially the trackers and the blank notes you can simply add the title so this will serve as a button to go to that specific page and if you are already happy with the pages you will use on your planner you can now save it as a PNG on your device. Now let us proceed to the next part of this video which is adding hyperlinks to your planner. So first is to go to PowerPoint and click on blank presentation. Then go to the design tab to adjust the slide size. And after that, Insert the pages or PNGs of the planner we made. I suggest adding it one at a time instead of inserting all of the photos, adjusting them on one slide, and organizing them after because there might be confusions when you are already organizing it. So just add another slide and place the next page of your planner. Again, do it one at a time. So the following hack I want to share is to have these two different windows. The other one will have the pages of the planner or the file. And on the other side is the PowerPoint. So just add blank slides and place the PNG of the planner. So now we will add the hyperlinks. To do it, insert a shape on the slide. Place it above the indexes and adjust its size. Right click on it, then click on hyperlink. Then click on place on this document option. Next is to find the specific slide of the page that should be linked on that particular index. 
For example, for this index, which is the calendar, I will choose slide number 2 since the calendar is on the second page. You can also see a preview on the side so, so you can be sure if you are choosing the right slide. And if it is on the correct page, just click OK. Next, change the appearance of the shape by applying a clear or transparent border and shape fill. Duplicate this shape with the hyperlink and place it on the next index. Right click on it, click the edit link and repeat the process. Just choose the page where the following index should be linked. Repeat this process until you're done with the last index. And if you're done adding the links for each index, select them, copy and paste them on the following pages. Paste them on the calendar, on the monthly planner, and on the weekly planner. But to make it faster, instead of pasting the links on each weekly page, we will repeat the process we did earlier, which is to paste it on one weekly page and copy that specific page since there is already the hyperlinked indexes, paste it four times, and then select the complete weekly page on that month let's say January, and after selecting those five weekly planner pages, copy and paste them after each monthly planner, and just don't forget to delete the no hyperlinks weekly planner pages. Repeat this for the 12 months. After the weekly and monthly planners and daily planners if you included them, you can go to the menu page and repeat the process. Just add the hyperlink shape and link it to the specific pages like the trackers or other pages. And by the way, aside from linking each month only, you can also link individual weeks for each month if you want. And if you also wish to, you can also link individual days if you include a daily planner. So this depends on you on how you would like to navigate your planner. You can add hyperlinks or buttons to help you move a specific page on your planner. And after adding the links, you can present them and check the links to see if they are working and if they lead you to the correct pages. After you are done, you can now save it as a PDF. So we're already done with the hyperlinks and let's now proceed with the last part of this video which is to place the planner into GoodNotes. So to do it, you just have to transfer the PDF file to your iPad. You can use Google Drive but here I just use Messenger and open the file in Safari. Next is to click on the share icon at the top right corner, scroll until the bottom and click on open in GoodNotes. Then your GoodNotes app will automatically open. Click on import, then import as a new document. And there you go, you have your planner. So to navigate to each pages, you have to click on this icon at the top right corner. And to write or annotate on the planner, just click on this icon again. So if you want to use the template I made, I have the link below in the description box and a guide on how you can download it. And that is all for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this video helps. Thank you and see you on my next video. Bye guys!